Hi everyone, my name is Amit Gross and today we're going to talk about when we use statistic calculation and when we'll use machine learning. So when should we use statistics? If we just want to explain the data to someone else, uh, if we just want to do some primary, primary analysis on the data, meaning checking the average, the median, the standard deviation, to do some tests on the data, obviously I will use statistics. Uh, if I want to understand when the data, how the data was sampled, when, where it came from, uh, how it represents the population that I've sampled, how it represents basically the real world, then I'll use some uh, statistic test in order to understand what's the distribution of the data. Meaning, is it a normal distribution like the Gaussian belt that we see in this diagram? Is it an exponential distribution, a Poisson distribution, a gamma or a beta? This is really important for us to understand in order to uh, generate some insight about this data and whether it was sampled okay or not. Uh, if I just want to check the relationship between variables, so I want to see how two variables correlate, whether I should use them both or not, because if they uh, really uh, have high correlation, then maybe uh, one variable is enough. Um, so if I have, for example, an input variable and I want to test the correlation to some target variable that I have, I can do some simple linear regression, which is a statistical uh, test in order to see uh, how they correlate, how they match. And then I'll use statistics. So machine learning is built upon statistics. Uh, using statistics is really important for us uh, one thing is that we can use it to generate more features like taking an average or a moving average and to use it in our model. Uh, another thing that is really important is while we understand with statistical tests where the data came from and what's the distribution of the data, we can generate a more valid and a better cost function because we use hypothesis in order to generate our functions. And, and this function is built upon, uh, uh, this is the mathematical function, and we take into account some statistics knowledge uh, during the research. Uh, this is why it's really important. So when will we use machine learning? Uh, we'll use it when we want to predict, to recommend, to, to rank, to classify. Basically, we want to optimize something uh, and, and machine learning has the word learning in it because it learns. And this is uh, very important if we want to do some uh, complex uh, computation on a complex mathematical function, then we'll use a machine learning. Uh, during this learning phase, we're uh, doing multiple techniques like bagging and boosting, meaning that we're learning from iteration to iteration, from epoch to epoch, from generation to generation. And this way, we're getting more and more accurate over time. And this is why we'll use machine learning. And, and mostly, this is the preferred way to do uh, things if you really want to predict or, or any of this. Uh, um, targets that, that we specify here. So why shouldn't I use statistics for complex data? So let's take, for example, anomaly detection. Um, usually in statistics, I measure the distribution and then I can set some uh, standard deviation uh, or X amount of standard deviation to represent some anomaly or I can do some, uh, taking some uh, uh, static threshold in order to define that this is an anomaly. Uh, usually we implement in such a way, simple algorithms, but usually in the real world, the data is dynamic, is changing over time and it's more complex. It's not one dimensional. It has many dimensions, many features, and we want to take them all into account because if we take, for example, 
an anomaly detection of signing in into a platform. And we just want to identify some uh, uh, anomaly uh, uh, of, of signing into the platform. Uh, then in many cases, uh, this anomaly, if we use statistics, can be uh, can be valid because in some part of the world, I have a better tractions and many people signed in into my platform. And this is actually OK. So this is why we want to take more context into the data and not sample some uh, one or two variables. We want to sample, uh, take into account many things and many uh, a lot of context into our model. And this is why we use machine learning, because it learns and it's dynamic over time and it's, it's able to learn the changes uh, and, and all the features together. Thank you.